They don't really have hosts anymore. Why is that? Twitter. Greta Garbo, Ed Monroe, Dietrich and... Bring the music, the moment you hold. Take my people with me. We have a firm belief that representation matters deeply. All women are superheroes. Pong Jun Ho. Is the opportunity to use our voice for the voiceless. I think our heroes unite us. And the Oscar goes to... Parasite. I feel like a very opportune moment in history is happening right now. Well, you heard it, a lot of big moments last night at the Oscars, including Parasite winning Best Picture, a non-English speaking film, the first time that's happened. Yeah, a lot of folks getting ready to read some subtitles, rushing out to see that movie. Um, I want to check out Judy as well, and Renee Zellweger, a Texan from Katy, Texas, winning the Oscar for Best Actress for her role in that film. Yeah, I rented that. It was actually phenomenal. Check it out. And then you had Joaquin Phoenix. You heard part of his speech. He won Best Actor for Joker, and his speech, well, it was a little all over the place. Some would say thoughtful, some would say bizarro, but we'll get to all that because Cleo Green's coming in to talk specifically. Wait, I love that. Bizarro? I felt like it yeah. well, when you're mentioning milk, okay, in your I felt guilty putting milk in my coffee. This I morning. did not. There is a lot. <laughs> yeah, it, it went all over the place. Uh, Oscars 2020 is trending this morning, especially Parasite with four wins, including the big one. Oh, guys, I think my date is here. Oh, oh there he is. Oh, yes. Oh, the red carpet ready. Well, hello. Uh, okay, so Variety <laughs> Magazine. Thank you so much, Larry. Oh, gosh, I'll never forget that moment. Uh, Variety Magazine tweeting here that the director, Bong Joon-ho, apologizes to the engravers for having too many Oscars. What a problem to have. Too many Oscars. All right, check out this moment here because Twitter was also on fire here. Joaquin Phoenix won his first Oscar for his performance in The Joker. Now, he gave a very emotional speech and ripped on several topics like his past mistakes, societal inequality, and like Kara said, the cows. And then we take her milk that's intended for a calf and we put it in our coffee and our cereal. I've been selfish, I've been cruel at times, hard to work with and ungrateful, but so many of you in this room have given me a second chance. A second chance. Now from the cows to pure confusion, Eminem surprised guests with a performance of Lose Yourself. Now Slim Shady, uh, he explained on Twitter that he didn't perform that song at the 2003 Oscars. So 17 years later, he just decided to use his opportunity and show up. And there were definitely some confused faces in the crowd. And here's the moment people wanted to see more of. Kristen Wiig and Maya Rudolph are singing a quirky medley of songs about fashion to present the award for best costume design. Maybe we sing it. <laughs> these boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. And one of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over. You got the look, you got the look. I loved when they did the little lady in red. That was for Kara. Uh, Michael, thank you for this tweet saying Wig Rudolph 2020 hashtag Oscars. But a lot of people are also talking about this awesome moment on stage. Oh my frozen. That was really epic when nine Elsas took to the stage. Oh my God. Thank you, Larry. <laughs> and I really put on my high heels today, so this is helping me out because I was struggling earlier. Thank you You're so welcome. much. Star of the show. What did you think of the Frozen performance? I'm just curious how you got an escort over here. I mean, hey. Sometimes you're special. <laughs> uh, I, I thought it was really cool. Uh, you, you heard, for those that didn't see it, you heard the song in several different languages. I thought that was kind of a global nod to yes. the folks watching all around the world. Again, which happened when Parasite won and you heard an accepted speech in Korean. I thought that was pretty and, special. And it was amazing. Even though they had a translator, I still felt like I was in the moment, celebrating that moment with him. He was just so emotional and excited. I think you're going to see more people calling for uh, Maya Rudolph and maybe even Amy Poehler to get up there. Like the whole, they want the whole gang, right? Yes. Yeah. It's like you want to bring the crew from Bridesmaids on the set next year to host the awards. One of my favorite movies. It makes me laugh. Well, I know all we, the time. we enjoyed watching it. We were tweeting last night. I saw all of your tweets as well. Uh, the folks watching right now, maybe not as much. 2.3, the rating that our viewers gave the Oscars. Thanks, everybody, who uh, decided to weigh in on that one. Yeah, they the stuck around and heard the, the cow, cow speech. speech. Okay. It, it did a minute. It, it dropped it down a little bit. <laughs> it used to be at 2.8. <laughs> Greg? Come on, guys. I got more for you. It might go up a little bit. <laughs>